Hello, I'm Nastania and welcome to the community. Happy New Year and God bless your year. God bless you and may you be prosperous and you have a joyous year. Amen. Some time ago, let me think back. Oh, 2021. I explained that I don't do New Year's resolutions. I do themes or a concept or a promise or prayer, an idea. The one for this year is God has got me. God has got me. Yeah. You're probably like, if you're a Christian, yeah, yeah, we know that. God's got us. Amen. Amen. But I say God has got me because I need to remind me and you maybe need to remind you that God has got us indeed. Amen. When I say that, that's because in 2022, I found myself, as you may have, Attempting to make things right, attempting to correct things and fight my own battles. And where did that get me? Nowhere. Got me nowhere. Made things a lot worse. Amen. But um, if I prayed and I let God defend me, then I think it would have been a lot better off. It caused me more anxiety, more distress. I was upset a lot more because my efforts, as you may find, were futile. They, they didn't get me anywhere. Work got worse. Some relationships with other people became worse because I couldn't fix it. And it's not until today, right now, at this moment, that I realized I couldn't fix it. And I shouldn't have tried. That's the most important part. I shouldn't have tried to fix it. You, you should, should not try to fix it. We, we, we can't fix it. Only God can fix it. There's things that happen in your life. There's situations, relationships. They're sour. They started sour. Maybe because that person was told some things about you and they chose to believe them even though they were lies or they were wrong. Amen? Nothing you can do about that. There's nothing you can do. Because you started off wrong. You can't control what other people say about you, beloved, nor can you control what they think about you. You can only be the good, righteous person that God wants you to be. If you are being good to people and doing right by them, if you are encouraging them and supporting them in any way that you can to succeed in this life, that's all you can do. Other than that, you can pray for people Amen. If you don't like me, I can't make you like me. But I can still love you. And if we have bad blood between us, I don't got to continue by making it worse. And I certainly, and you certainly, shouldn't return evil for evil. Amen. Returning good for evil. That's biblical. And I know you may say, what are you talking about? I'm not going to be doing stuff for people who are evil to me, who treat me bad and misuse me. That's not, that's not what I'm saying, okay? Because because God said, don't be a fool. God doesn't want you to be a fool. If I know that you mean me harm, I'm not going to be in your area, your, your face, your space, amen? I'm not going to deal with you on that personal level if I don't need to. But what I'm saying is you may need to interact with this person, beloved. They may be your boss. They may be a coworker. So you need to stay prayed up. You need the Holy Spirit to help you. You need to pray every morning before you go to work. You need to pray on the way home from work and maybe during work. Amen. And you need to limit your interactions as much as possible and keep it short and sweet. That is my advice to you. But God has got you. No need to fear. He will handle whatever situation it is. In his time. Not in your time. Amen. Because I found myself at one point just broken down. Broken down. Because I couldn't fix it. I couldn't make this person stop tormenting me. And I kept praying and begging God. But nothing seemed to happen. But what I know for sure is. He's got it. 
he will take care of it in his time. I need to find the joy in my work at work again because I allowed this person to suck out my joy. The joy I have for teaching and learning and encouraging children and adults around me. And I never want to do that again. And I know you don't either. So let me end with the word. Okay? God has got you. Deuteronomy 24. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Amen? Psalm 34, 6. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. He's going to save us. He's got us. Psalm 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 91, 7. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Do not say, I will recompense evil. Wait for the Lord and he will save you. Amen. The fear of man brings a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Amen. And as always, God bless you and God bless you. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. That's right. We made it. Me and you. We're here January 1st. 